Hey Bree, you really spark things up a bit. <laughs> Today we're going to try and change the spark plugs or bougies oh, a spark plug. on a 2012 Jeep Compass. So hopefully I got the right tools. And first thing I did was take this thing off. And all you got to do is pull it and it comes up. And these little things here, I guess, pop onto the little things down here. I'm going off some YouTube, YouTube, YouTube tutorials. And I got this thing, Torx head. I'm going to stick it in this thing and unscrew these things. Yeah, that's apparently where the spark plugs are. The people at the dealership told me that spark plugs costed $68. And I told them, no, I just bought these from the store for $11. And then they were trying to charge me $200 for parts and repair. And if I don't electrocute myself, then I'll save, save myself some money. So I heard you don't have to take these things off. And if I don't need to, I'm not going to. And they said this brown line here means something's bad. So how about that? Let me see, how do I get this off? Oh, you push down on this little back part. The fun part comes of trying to use the crap that most people have compared to what your friend that fixes cars has. I don't even know if these are the right thing or not. So, that sure as shit ain't the right thing. That sure as shit ain't the right thing. I'm guessing this is what most people have is a bag that looks like this. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to do this shit. Because it's supposed to be able to go over the whole thing, I think. You're supposed to have a little measurer to measure how far off the thing is from here. But... Well, that sucks. <laughs> All right, so if you're anything like me, this is gonna be the part two of your changing spark plugs on your 2012 Jeep Compass. And... I got drones here? Hey, how are you? Um, I need the uh, super cool socket that allows you to take out and put these in your car. I have ones like that, but I think it's too wide to fit in a little hole. Is there like a skinnier one? This one looks like it might. We got that one. But most of our spark plug ones are going to be right here. Okay. These are most of our spark plug sockets right here. This one is a uh, 16 millimeter. I love the tape job they did. Okay. So. Now we have this thing here. 
that we just bought at the store 16 millimeter to actual thing for the thing <laughs> <You better. laughs> stop it <laughs> Alright, so when I first started out, I thought this was going to be a stupid simple video, but the one I had just gotten was wrong, and you have to make sure this one is a 3 8 on this end, and this is 5 8 on the socket okay. that you get. So make sure this one goes on here like that, but also you have to make sure that other end on this thing is not too big like this stupid one I just bought so it'll go on the end uh -huh. so let's pray to God that this works that works you don't really need that long but well and it's lefty Lucy and I heard you want to take it easy because it's aluminum threading. So once you get it loose, do it with your hand. Do it with your hand. And there's the beauty part. Looks like there's melted a little no, bit up there. All you're doing is looking at this point. This is a spark right here. It's carbon build up. Compared to that? Mm-hmm. Okay. <clears throat> All right. One at a time, one at a time. What, put the one back in? Yeah. Put the one that you took out, put it back in. One at a time. All right. So that's that. Second one. Alright. Alright, number three. Cool. Have a proper two of that. Yeah, I would say so. All right, so now we got to put these back in. Proper order. Did you see the black line there? Where they were talking? Oh, it's the white stuff. Where? Is that the white stuff that they were talking yeah, about? Yeah, so that's what, the one thing he said it could. What means that? I don't remember. Google. Like this? Yeah, the white stuff. You yeah. said it can be black stuff on it or white stuff? White stuff is charcoal. White stuff, then white stuff is the one that this thing melts. See? Gets up there. Are you, are you got yeah, this? I'm, uh, I got it. I don't think you got it. What do you mean I don't? I just looked at it and it was on there crooked. So now you put this thing back on there. Make sure it goes on a little. Knobs correctly. And hold my beer. How much did the spark plug cost? Eleven dollars. Really? And I asked the people at the dealership how much they cost, and they said 
Uh, like $69. Yeah. Deal is a rip-off anyway. <laughs> bye. Say bye, Bree. Bye. Thank you for watching. <laughs> okay, so I just wanted to do this video because, uh, first off, I have the best mechanic in the world. So if you're ever in the Hampton Roads area and you need a trustworthy mechanic uh, that's not going to rip you off, you should uh, hit me up. He, he's so good, he could uh, make millions of dollars by starting his own YouTube channel. Uh, but anyways, the thing that my car was doing, this car is a 2012 Jeep Sport Compass, and it was having this issue where when I would hit the gas pedal, it would stutter, kind of. Not necessarily uh, like a transmission thing, but it would kind of stutter. And I took it to the Jeep place, and they said I had to do a software update on the computers. And I spent two hundred some dollars, two hundred twenty-seven dollars there, uh, fixing it. it. Wasn't covered by my platinum insurance, which is a bummer. But they said they don't cover software issues. They haven't covered anything yet. But that's a whole other story. Um, the thing is, I got that fixed and left, and it was still bad. And then they mentioned the spark plugs. I asked my friend Chris about it. He said he could. Uh, you know, show me which ones to get, and uh, I figured out how to do it myself, as you can see. And uh, the whole point was um, that <clears throat> you can do this to save your money. So, uh, yeah, that's that. I'm trying to start my new YouTube channel. Uh, please, if you can, like, support, share, uh, subscribe. And um, if you have any questions or feedback, I'm sure there's a lot of things I could have done better. Please let me know because I like helping people out. So uh, thanks for watching. And I'll catch you on the next video. Bye.